Now, Hasina, what is taking place at this moment? At the moment, uh, Minister and the President Sisun Shibangu is meeting uh, with various community members from um, Ramaphosa here in Boxburg, as well as Actonville and Benoni, where there were simmering xenophobic attacks over the last month. This community in Ramaphosa came together earlier in the month, the minute these xenophobic attacks came together, and said we will not have a repeat of the 2008 attacks. They created a committee and they've come together to say no to xenophobia. Uh, the minister addressed uh, this um, meeting a little while ago where she said and she encouraged the community to say no to violence and to ensure that all community members can integrate and work well together. Um, right now she's currently taking comments from the uh, various uh, members of the community and addressing issues that they're facing and she's going to be responding to their um, complaints, to their um, whatever input they have and uh, from there we'll see what will be uh, happening. Now Hasina, is, is the foreign national security guaranteed um, as, uh, you know, for, to, to where they're actually moving from? I understand they're moving from the refugee camps that they've been settling in and to of course back to their communities. Is their security guaranteed there? Um, from what I understand, a lot of community, uh, foreign nationals who were staying in refugee camps have been slowly starting to integrate into community. We came here earlier this uh, week with some shop owners who were uh, seeking refuge at a uh, large retail store. And they came back into Ramaphosa Extension 5 you know, and were welcomed into their community. So I think there are some measures put in some security. But I think for most this community specifically, I know Ramaphosa Extension 5 took to the streets last week. Saturday, um, calling for the foreign nationals to return and speaking to them on the streets earlier the week, in the week, they said that um, most of them wanted these foreign nationals to be here and uh, were not, uh, you know, in any way f feeling threatened by them and were actually helping them to rebuild their stores. And coming back to the program today, Hasina, what is the program about? What are some of the themes and issues on the agenda with today's program? Today first was a keynote message from uh, the minister in the presidency, Susan Shibangu. There was also praise by one of the uh, community leaders, April Haynes. There was also community, uh, the Ramaphosa councillor, um, who said, you know, they've come together not to see another repeat of what occurred in 2008, where a Mozambican national was uh, killed during the attacks. They're also um, now speaking with the minister, and there's going to be responses from her after this, as well as different ways for them to work together, you know, uh, to address the issues, the issues of unemployment, the issues of crime, the issues of uh, violence in their community and how this then affects foreign nationals. Now, throughout the week, Hasina, we've seen, of course, government, you know, from the Minister of Defence to the Minister of Home Affairs, Mr. Malusi Kikaba, you know, engaging with the nation about stopping xenophobic attacks and, you know, trying to come up with solutions and not solutions through violence. But as far as government is concerned, is there any continuous engagement with the community, especially with the Ramaphosa informal settlement, to ensure that no violence uh, and you know, no xenophobic attacks will take place from here moving forward? I think they're now engaging with community leaders to now take that step and to ensure that on the ground uh, the message of government is then put into place and this kind of continuous engagement is done on a grassroots level on the ground with not just ministers coming and being talking heads but everyday community leaders who then bring about this kind of message. Now, Hazina, of course, I was talking to the Secretary General of the Pan-African Parliament, Mr. Zwili, to um, Madas, and we're talking about how, of course, you know, the recent spate of xenophobic attacks has been looking absolutely bad, you know, to the rest of the African continent and to the world. But is this a step in the right direction for the South African government to assure not just the continent, but the world that something is done, of course, to ensure that these attacks do not um, continue? Yes, I think this is the right step uh, to kind of pacify and to ensure that, you know, the world 
uh, knows that South Africa is taken seriously, that xenophobic attacks are not acceptable and violence against foreigners will not be tolerated. I think it's also, um, in a way, ensure helping the foreign nationals feel at ease that, you know what, government is hearing us also, that we will be uh, kept safely and, uh, you know, that our safety is also a priority. This was also uh, kind of highlighted again by the deployment of the SANDF to help the South African police uh, services in various hotspots uh, throughout, um, you know, the Gauteng as well in the country where it's deemed necessary. So I think these are just mes measures that the government is taking to ensure and to help, you know, people see that they're taking these xenophobic attacks seriously. Our SABC reporter, Hasina Gori, thank you so much for your time this morning and, of course, updating us on what's happening at the Ramaphosa. Informal settlement, well, as she's alluded, of course, uh, Minister Susan Shabangu is there throughout the program to ensure that, of course, the message comes across to stop the recent spate of xenophobic attacks, but most importantly, to ensure that they integrate foreign nationals back into the Ramaphosa informal settlement. Well, thank you so much for your time there.